Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we have another case of uh, those folks pretending like they don't know the effects of the things that they have done to so-called black people. They pretend like they just don't know and that everything is fair across the board and that the problem lies with us. Uh, so anyway, uh, this woman is going to say a whole lot. Okay, but um, I decided to highlight the fact that uh, she believes we can't link slavery to today and that we need to open up our eyes and just listen like everybody else. Listen and learn. Okay? <laughs> All right. Anyway, take a listen at this rhetoric. And of course, you know, I will be right back. When they were a slave, they were given housing, food, clothing medical care from what you said it sounds like you were born before the civil rights movement oh yeah so black people couldn't buy houses in your lifetime when you were maybe a i'm baby, well aware of that you were five so you don't think there's any downstream effect I felt depressed at that time yeah but that's what martin was trying to correct right now i see so many people living off the government handout i'm pretty sure welfare use per capita is higher in red states than blue there's states Yes, but there's so many people living off of the government handouts, and that is not that much farther away from slavery. When they were a slave, they were given housing, food, clothing, medical care. They asked the people asked them to work. Yes, there were land or landowners that were violent and, and mean to some of them, but there were others that were humanistic. The Civil War was something that no one could do anything about because the whites quote unquote, whites from the South are not the only ones that had slaves. Slaves are all over the world. Slaves still exist today. Do you, you think there's a direct effect from slavery to how black Americans are able to live today? No, I don't. They have a chance to learn. They live in the best country in the world. If they open their eyes and listen, instead of just focusing on their little area that, and people that they hang out with, they would learn a lot. One part that I thought was really laughable is when she went, when she mentioned Martin. I guess she was talking about Martin Luther King, but she said she felt um, depressed. But um, but Martin was trying to fix that. What does that have to do with anything? Oh my goodness! <laughs> they try to pretend like if they mention Martin Luther King, in which they know they couldn't stand this man, like they are all for the cause. Oh my goodness! Martin was trying to fix that. But uh, when he's asking her all these questions about housing rights, and oh, I'm well aware of that. Okay, so then what is your problem? What are you talking about then? She had the nerve to talk about we had, they gave us food, they gave us housing and clothes during slavery. She said it as if they, if they were doing us a favor. Oh my goodness. There is no reaching some of these people. Y'all hear what I'm saying? There's no cutting through to that. This is why the Most High is going to have to do what he's going to have to do. God of heaven, as you all call them, because you can't reach these people. To think that providing housing and food is enough for the treatment that they were giving to our ancestors is ridiculous. Especially when you consider the housing that they were providing. Many times they were living in little shacks with no floor, dirt floors, but she thinks that counts as housing. Oh my goodness, dirt floors, but she believes it counts as housing. Also, many times they were cold in those little shacks or, or super hot in those little shacks. And the food, a lot of times they were just giving you the slop that they did not want. But she thinks that counts as, it's almost as if her mind is thinking about today where they're providing, she believes they're providing some type of um, significant structure for, for people to live in with air conditioner, running water, plumbing, and food off the grocery store shelves. This is the, the, the delusion they live in so that they don't have to think about this stuff so much. They paint a picture in their own minds that it wasn't so bad. And then when you try to point out things, they say, well, black, white people in the South, 
were not the only people to own slaves. As if that's some type of justification. And then she believes that you can't even link it to today? No, they just need to open up their eyes and listen. Like everybody else. Learn. That's her solution, that we just need to learn. Okay, so what about the fact that they don't want us in their schools? their universities. Uh, what about the redlining? What about the Jim Crow? What about all of this? See, they don't want to talk about those things because they are not affected by those things. One of these days, maybe I should talk about the fact that they are affected by it. They may not be affected by it here on earth, but you are affected by it because these are things that the Most High is going to look at when it's judgment time. Even if you feel like you were not directly linked to it, you were. Because you, when you had a chance, woman, to speak up and tell the truth, you couldn't even bring yourself to do it. But yet you believe that black people are supposed to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. And you can't even speak the truth about the guiltiness behind white privilege. So, yeah. You may not be affected by it now in your own mind, but you really are. Because it's going to be strikes against you when you stand before the Most High. And know that you were complicit in your heart with how this system favored you all over us. And not just favor it, it's not even really about favoring. They actually mistreat us over you all. See, what if, what if they just left us alone? And what if it really was an issue of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps? Then when we went to go for a job, it would be equal. Okay, the black person's more qualified, so we'll give it to them. See, this is not an issue of pulling ourselves up by the bootstraps. We actually have to overcome hurdles and stumbling blocks and ditches that have been dug by your people. See, that's the problem. That's what's going to get y'all. Because you all refuse to repent for the things that you know are out of pocket. Things that you know are wrong. A system that you know mistreats others so that you don't have to think about certain things. So that you can traipse around living a life of privilege and not even concern yourself with how others are being hurt because of an unfair, unjust system. Anyway, I want you all to share your thoughts on this woman thinking that we can't even link how we live today back to yesterday. They don't want to talk about the benefits that they have gained from slavery. And they don't want to talk about how we have been negatively affected and impacted by slavery. They want to pretend like it's all in our minds and all in our heads while sitting back, sitting, sitting back trying to pretend like this system today is fair. That woman knows it's not fair. And got the nerve to talk about herself being stressed at sometimes, but that's what Martin wanted to fix. Okay, Martin who? Couldn't even say the man's full name. But you know what? This reminds me of the Bible scripture that says, the pride of your heart has deceived you. That's what it reminds me of. And this is a very clear example of that. The pride of her heart has deceived her so bad to where she can't even tell. She can't even tell that she's sitting up there with this privilege in her mind and heart but it's gonna, it's gonna be judged by it. Mm, mm, mm. I'm done, y'all. Chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.